Hello and welcome to DTWGED Prep Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to find the volume of a cylinder. Okay, I think the past one week I've been creating geometry, focusing on the GED. So um, these are all the subtopics in, in geometry, okay? And um, it's in the formula, GED uh, math formula sheet. I'll leave the link you know, to download the, the GED math formula sheet in the video description box of this video. So you don't need to cram or memorize the formulas, okay, because you already given a formula sheet on your test day. You will just, you know, click on it on your screen and you see the formula for whichever question you are asked. All you need to do is understand the formula and know the parameter, the parameters of each, um, you know, uh, figure. Okay, so here we have the volume of it to find the volume of a cylinder and what's the formula for my formula sheet. I'm using the um, GD formula sheet. It says our volume is equal to what pi r square h. Okay, so this is the diagram of a cylinder. Okay, a cylinder has, you know, two base. All right, this first, uh, this the, the top circle here is a base while the, the lower one also is a base so you have two base if you know um, a cylinder is like a tin maybe a tin tomato and all that so that's a cylinder shape so it has what is a three-dimensional figure so it has two base then it has a height where each base has a radius okay from here you know remember our circles if there's the center of the of this particular circle here from here to here is the radius while the total length from this side crossing the, the center of the circle is the diameter. All right. So sometimes your question don't give you the for me from our question here. It says find the volume of a cylinder with the height of six. So the height of the cylinder is from here to here, which is what six. OK, this is the height of our cylinder. Six what feet. OK, and uh, it says a base with a diameter of four feet. So diameter of four feet means from here to here, that's here to here, the total is what, four feet. So to get the radius, the radius is always half the diameter. If you remember the formula for radius, is always half the diameter. So half of this, half of four. So here is two, here is two. So our radius is what, two feet. Okay? Our radius is two feet. So from here, we can apply the formula uh parameters into our formula now the ged will always give you um uh, your pi as what 3.14 or in case you're not given 3.14 in your option you will see see the value of pi still left uh left okay that's if a number is not um uh, well, you're not supposed to punch in a number i'm going to explain this to you now so uh here we have this so three, if it was, uh, if they were, if we we're given three point one four times what, um, that's two square times our height is what six. So when we multiply all this, we're going to get what seventy five point three six. Now you know this is a uh, volume, so it's going to be in cubic what feet. So f raised to the power of three. That's cubic what feet because here this is a uh, feet. All right, and when you multiply uh, the feet twice, you have a feet square. Multiply it by this feet, we have another uh, feet added. That's three feet added. So cubic what feet. So this is, our, this is our answer here. In case you're not given a value of pi, so you know you don't get confused. You would see, you will just make pi, pi to remain the same in the formula. So this will be pi, then two square, that's four times our height is what six. This is two square. Let me just uh, do this. So times, this is four times six. Where well, four times six is what? 24, okay? So that's 24 pi. So you leave the pi and you see in your options, you have pi in everything, okay? That's if you're not giving a value of what pi to put in to your formula. So it will be 24 pi feet what? cubic what feet okay so this is how we find the volume of a cylinder okay so try to follow us on this geometry you know play playlist okay because most times the gd don't just say find the volume like that sometimes they give you the volume 
and they tell you to find the diameter or tell you to find the height. So that's where you have, uh, you know, your formulas, you are looking for some variables. All right. And I'm going to be doing that some um, video soon. So stay tuned. I'll leave the link to a playlist, the geometry playlist also for you to follow through. All right. Thank you. Don't forget to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also you can check our website, dtwgdprep.com for summary notes, study guides, practice questions. You can also join our Facebook group. Uh, we're over 11,000 members now to get encouraged, you get other resources to know about the GED in your state. And, uh, you know, several things on the Facebook group you can actually get. Okay. And if you require one-on-one -on -one math tutoring, you can also contact me. I'll leave my email um, in the video description box of this video. All right. Thank you. And see you in our next video. Also, finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead us to heaven at last, and also give us that heaven on earth here while we're still on earth. All right, thank you, and see you in our next video.